Tortorella with your coffee, sir. What do you mean? I'm Tortorella? <laughs> Usual as it's. Gentlemen. Come on, it's getting late. 
took you so long for crying out loud. We're like two baked potatoes. Not bad, huh? Yeah, it's terrific. What do you want to do? Ruin our careers? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? As I said. Yeah, all that water on the brain. I'll give you a couple of funny ideas. Oh, great. What do you think? On the kind of Monte Cristo? In a couple of months, they're going to let me out of this here prison. Escaping wouldn't be worth it. Thank you. Ah, and how are you this morning, eh? Uh, isn't it kind of early to start with that stuff? This ain't no nightclub. Come on, get your clothes off. Get some sun. Hey, sweetheart, you like it here? Can't complain, but you said we were going to Tunis. Hey, Gerald, when are you gonna spear one for me? Whenever they like you had cheese at this place, but by then the water will run out of fish. Thanks, I remember that. Yeah? <laughs> Uno dice nell'altro traditore Mentre il tenente fu ferito in testa Da un giovanotto in su l'età del fiore Destino infame che mi perseguite Ciro, how was your bath this morning? Couldn't be better, the water is fine, I most highly recommend it <laughs> Thank you, Ciro, let's go Uno dice nell'altro traditore. Oh! Dismissed. Dismissed? Mm hmm. Sir, at ease. They said I gotta keep guard on him, only he can go wherever he wants to go, and I gotta hoof along. Orders from above, says the warden. My life found cool. To me, he sounds like a spy. Yeah? You really know how to do a job right, eh, Chiro? Just like he is, so. Corradi. I'm here. I'm afraid times are going to get rough the day this prison watches Chiro walk out the front door. Bring this fish to the kitchen and have the cook give you a bottle of wine for Chiro on my account. Me you, sir. Fine. Good work, Chiro. Thank you, sir. It's my duty. The only thing is, if they don't stop fishing with uh, dynamite, you'll end up eating fish that tastes like gunpowder with exploded guts. So help me, Chiro. I'll get those blackguards. Oh, have no fear. They'll be apprehended, especially for your sake. It's important you work in peace. My only hope is that you get drunk one of these nights and go bash in a guard and get slammed into the cooler with a brand new sentence. Right. Tell me, how are my oysters, huh? Oh, they're doing all right. Hmm. Come in. Ah, Dr. Sancrati. You like oysters, doctor? I'm actually crazy about them. Because Chiro here is preparing a first-class oyster farm. It took a lot of hard work. Well, it's time you get back. See you tomorrow. So long, Chiro. Take care, huh? Uh, I admire the guy. Chiro the diver, they call him. He couldn't make friends with his sister's fiancé. The guy beat her at least twice a day and bullied her with guns and knives. So one day, Chiro murdered the guy with a razor-edge tuna cleaver. I admire him, huh? Bonjour. <laughs> Thanks, Colonel. Mm -hmm. uh, Colonel, sir, my humblest respects. Oh, thanks. I'm like Winston Churchill, only cigars. The finest. The Queen has reconfirmed an appointment. It's about time. What about our tuxedos? Don't worry about them. The rental service delivered. Just be sure to tell Yogi, okay? Hmm? See me or are you catatonic? The Queen's birthday has just been slightly anticipated. Ah, oh, one job more, one job less. Anyway, I give you my word of honor. Your word of honor? Yeah. What Harpoon says, Harpoon does. As soon as we can, 
I'll give you the can opener. Good, I was counting on you. You, you know, Colonel Light. Yeah, I'm going to finish the ciggies. No, you're a bad boy. <laughs> Why? You already owe me 9,600 liras. I uh, know, only... 10,000 limit, you got that? Uh, thanks, Colonel. I know Chiro's got a little job to do, but wouldn't it be better if Chiro, if he bumped off that guy when he's free? Huh? They will suspect him immediately. If they know he's here at Mount Ventosa, and if we give him a hand, he will have a foolproof alibi. <laughs> You're really sneaky, Colonel. Harpoon! I knew you would have pushed Mattis is back! Harpoon! Oh, yeah? Are the women beautiful? <laughs> I was told that was unbelievable. Uh, please excuse me, Colonel, but, but nature calls the animal. I'm sure you understand. Absolutely, <laughs> certainly. <laughs> Uh, hey, 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 boys, what if I take a peek, huh? Mm -mm, nothing for nothing, rule number one. Mm -hmm, more than willing to comply. Packing a cigarette be all right, huh? I'll even give you one of my lot, uh, la, la, one of my uh, la, raffle tickets. Made that too. Uh, uh, it's a bit much. In all my years in prison, I never met any guard who could finagle me like you. Here, take it. G give me the binoculars, I'm getting a hot. Uh, 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 oh, oh, boy. Ah! Oh, I can't fudge. Look at those zooms. I wonder why they put prisons on islands. So the inmates' only way out is to swim back. And if you can't swim, you do the dead man's float. All right, over here. Drop it. Visit Morocco? <laughs> no. It's not bad if you like desert sand, dates, and all that. We're going on. Oh, you wouldn't like it, sweetie. I've got nicer places for you. You won't miss anything. You've already changed your plans? No, I'll take you. <laughs> I'll even find those gold earrings you wanted. <laughs> Don't worry, honey. I'll keep the promise. Uh, you're being bought for an earring. I know what I'm doing. I'm a big girl now. Why shouldn't I accept? You don't know him, darling. Shut up, sir. What is it? Rambaris is on the phone. All right. It's urgent. I'm coming. I've got things to do now. In the meantime, you can start organizing a little mutiny. Did he get here yet? Yeah. Merchandise, too. So the ship got to Naples, eh, Lambratis? Yeah, it got here all right. Vincenzo's waiting to see you. Did you check it out? Uh-huh, yeah. It's all cool. You start getting the money together. In dollars this time? No, make it liras. What if he don't accept? Make it dollars if he starts stalling. Okay. Tell uh, Vincenzo I want to see him personally. Personally? Yeah. Where? Here. I'm bored. Here, on the Mizar. All right, I'll send the guy express, okay? Over and out. 600 tons of fireworks. All pre-sold. <laughs> Unbelievable. I read this weird article about how he grew and got real rich. It said he did it alone. He faked his way. He's rotten. He's very friendly. What does he do? He's at the service of humanity, like a philanthropist. Tired of living? He can fill your needle. Horny? Okay, just name your sexual preference. Vangeli delivers. You want to play war or maybe kill a friend? Vangeli provides. It's just a matter of price. Chiro, what was in the fish this morning? Hmm? The works. How many people go to feed? Four people with leftovers. It makes a big meal. Special delivery. 
Thank you, you're most kind. This fish is fishy. What are you talking about? It's no mystery, same as small pearls and oysters. <laughs> Once I harpoon this enormous hammerhead, you know what's in its belly? <laughs> what? A transistor radio. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> that, that is because my music was lousy. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, Vangeli. I'm honored. Welcome aboard. No, amigo. The honor belongs to me. <laughs> Oh, I yeah. can't complain. Let's come aboard. Well, what do you say? Well, that depends on you. That's fair. Let's go. I'll explain it to you. No whiskey for me, just water. You sell guns, but you don't drink fire water. Hmm. Tell me something. The Kalashnikovs were ordered automatic, and the brown machine guns don't have the ammunition I agreed to pay for. You're right, but with a thousand assault rifles and a million rounds of ammunition, you can make plenty of noise. And then you have the deck to use and one to anti mortars. That stuff's 30 years out of date. In Yemen, they are still fashionable, and in Sudan, I don't think they have anything better. How'd you find out where my markets were? <laughs> I read my tea leaves. <laughs> You're a bastard, Vincenzo. But doing business with you is a pleasure. Just don't overstep your bounds, eh? Hello, tell Vincenzo where I sent that smart-ass Colonel Ramirez when he started acting up. Inside a cement mixer. And he was a friend. Listen, your friends are not interesting. Get back to the business. Hmm. Sure. Hello, another drink. Let's see. The bottom line says seven million dollars. Hmm. Pretty steep. Your prices are high. Higher than the market allows. The market will go higher. Tomorrow I will ask twice what I'm asking today. <laughs> <laughs> okay with me. Seven million. But you're getting them mixed. What? Yeah, dollars, francs, marks. And a third in local currency. <laughs> That's true. You didn't forget anything, eh? You told your friend Lombratis. What the hell? You're forgetting you're talking to a professional. I don't need lessons from you. <laughs> rotten on the inside and rotten on the outside. The life spent in jail is better than nothing. The food is all free, the friends are all trusting. Conditions are hard, the work ain't so easy. Women are scared, the warden is sleazy. Come on, move it. Oh, what's Who do you think you are? Ah, leave the poor bastard. Start playing alone. loony with me, I'll put you in solitary. Hold. That will do. I thank you, sir. Hmm. Colonel? I got a guard over you all day. How about a taste of the oyster? <clears throat> Seeing as I'm leaving soon, you can have it. Shell it first. It's a can opener. Uh, three hours is a long time, Colonel. And Ali, stop complaining. You'll be paid for your services mm -hmm. when the job is done. I I'm not completely sure about something. Uh, about that guru, Yogi, what's his name? You ask me, the punk's green. Look, do you know anyone else who can swim underwater that long? Mm -hmm. Can you do it, Fatso? Mm -hmm. So don't discuss my plans. 
All you have to do is cover for Yogi. The sooner we begin, the faster we finish. And you get paid. Yeah. Excuse me if I intrude, Colonel, but you've been in the jug for four years, right? And unless I'm wrong, you've got another four to go, right? Is it really that many, Apu? Yeah, would you mind explaining why, once you've taken care of this thing for Chiro, which, by the way, is a lot of bullshit, you don't sp split and st stay out of here. Yes. Get back to work, fellas! Back! Fellas! Get out of here! Come on! What's going on? What happened? It's Layak on the colonel. He had a guard and he's escaping. You punched him. Colonel! This is going to ruin everything. They'll kill him if they Who's find him. Who's Layak on the Raphaeli, what's going on? It's Layak on He's escaping. Oh. They're going to stop him. He's as good as dead. He's got every machine gun on the silent point of it. We must do something. Chance. All I want to do is swim. Just once, that's all. What's wrong if I just go in once? Oh, you're going to get back up Wait a here. minute. Wait a minute. I gotta have a swim, that's all. Put down those machine guns. We don't need him here. You say Gurdy. Huh? Lo Hey, Colonel, what's the matter with that guy? Lo Yakuno. Lo Yakuno. Wait, wait for me. Wait, wait. Listen, Lo Yakuno. I'm going to swim with you. No, don't jump. Listen, Loyakono. I am the colonel. Let me swim. Okay. Don't come. Wait. <laughs> I don't trust you. I want to go swimming, Colonel. No, no, you can't trust me. I Wait. Don't believe Wait. You. Wait. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> come on, let's stick together, Loyakono. I'll protect you, all right? <laughs> can I swim, Colonel? Yeah, yeah, we all go together. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you see that? He did it. Colonel, give me a hand. We'll take care of the mushroom no. here. No. Imbecile! Stay back! Leave him alone! Leave me alone! No! Loyakono! Come back out! Leave me alone! Just give me a chance! Loyakono! <laughs> I can't see him. He's gone. Shit. He's gone. You did all you could. It's nobody's fault. Nobody's to blame. Yeah, it's Kumun, that's all. Less Kumun. Yeah, French, it's... when you run out of luck. Karate. Yes, sir. Have them return to their cells. Get your cells! Fall in! According to what we're told, there'll be five men. Lambratis thought of everything. And now, my friends, it's up to us. You can all change your minds. No one is forcing you to come along, eh? How about that guy there? You really think he's trustable? Hmm? Look at the cards. What's it like diving on the water? What's it like so low? There ain't much traffic, but you better not go over the limit. Because if you run out of gas. You're all worried about me, aren't you? Uh, the fact is, you're not exactly Moby Dick. In all these weeks, I've dedicated heart and soul to the practice of Hardush. Oh. What do you mean? What do you do, Yogi? I exercise the spirit and subdue the senses. In simulated immersion, I've lasted seven minutes. 
<laughs> hey, guys, if we should run out of air, we could always steal a breath from Yogi. <laughs> Don't knock it. Ooh, the pressure in the tanks is set for 200 atmospheres. We'll drop the first four at the buoy, and we'll continue with four new ones. Uh -huh. Altogether, it should take about an hour. Are you sure you can find the exact position of the target? Hey, Carol, my name ain't Cyril the Diver for nothing. <laughs> Cyril the Diver. And you make sure you open the manhole, you take care of Yogi, clear? Uh -huh. Especially in the tunnel, you stick together. Don't worry. We stick together like two spring peas in a pod, okay, huh, Yogi? Or would you prefer bacon and eggs? I'll get you there in no time with plenty of air to spit. Good evening, sir. Who said when I jacks a while? What are you doing? We're playing poker, and I go fish. I got a pair of kings and a pair of queens. <laughs> you got a minute, Harpoon? No, hey, I can't see busy for Christ's sake. I was hoping I might have that beer again tonight, huh, Harpoon? No. You already owe me the four nights. Go put your put if you got it. I'll pay you everything together. You can trust me. Yeah, when? Tomorrow, for sure. Ah. It's a bargain. You can take it. Tomorrow, you owe me three tenors. Thanks. <laughs> What are you going to do with Elvira anyway? You'd be surprised. <laughs> hey, Harvey. Huh? It's getting late. What's your number? 86. Really? Boy, you lucky. Happy? Come on, come on. Move on, huh? Good night, good night. Fun. Keep smiling, ladies. Hey, hey, um, let's go. Hey, Pascalo, what'd you do? Get lost? I ain't changing times with nobody. Did you wait for your number, you maniac? Just wait your freaking turn. And don't be over anxious, don't anxious, anxious, just bunch of just rules. Mm -hmm. And keep quiet, you guys, otherwise you'll finish the party Let's get the show on the road, Let's go, son. Take it easy. Got arthritis. Here, I'll hold it for you. Give me your hand. I'll give you a hand. <laughs> we made it. It's about time. It's beautiful. Let me look. <laughs> Let me feel. Don't oh, oh, no, no, <laughs> My shoes are all What'd wet. What'd you do, bring a virgin along? You <laughs> wait and see. I'm going to catch a cold. Don't worry about it. The fellow's here. Have you oh, tried really rest in no time? You're even better than I thought. This is the very first time that I ever win a raffle. I'm glad you like me. Uh, Don't make Don't noise. go away, Pascalone. Put in jail. Well, we got to talk business. Two, four. Hey, Pascalone, you got a nice business here. Huh? Hmm? Huh? I'm the fuel. Hey, hold it there. I've only sold 90 tickets. I gotta make something, too. After all, I only sell them at a bill of peace here. <laughs> this is for our friend, Gobbly yeah. Guts. Ah, 15 bills. Hmm. He's gonna want to break your ass. Am I wrong? Has this been a, the third month that you go around the island trawling with your explosives? It's not true. Only the second. Yeah, sure. Screw Gobbly Guts and the rest of gods. When I come up next time, I'm gonna surprise them. I'll fish with enough bombs to blow up the island. Nice. Too bad I'll blow up, too. Like what you see? Do you? By now, I've lost track of the man he sent me to bed with. To me, you're all the same. You get nothing for nothing. That's mm. life. <laughs> You've always been number one, Gilda. I'm really glad you could come tonight. Oh, go on. You're not so bad yourself. Yeah? Hey, we ought to get a picture taken. Yeah, the graduating class of the penal colony. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you this is the only prison in the world with all these luxuries. Got a light? Yeah, I wish his hair beds were a little bit more comfortable below, don't you? Quit griping, Lisa. Us wardens have it even worse. Only we didn't murder anyone. <laughs> Take it away, liver lips. ain't they? It's love, huh? <laughs> Sex. Desperation. You ever been locked up? Hmm. Monkeys in a cage is what they are. Uh, you don't believe in love anymore? 
I suppose I've been out of, out of circulation. I don't care. Those guys there. I guess I don't know. Hey, c come on, will you? <laughs> Give me my jacket. The fun's over. Let's go. Your jacket's important to you, all of a sudden. I've got nothing else. Let's just forget it. I'm sorry. I didn't think we'd have so much fun. It's almost a shame we have to go. <laughs> Everything okay? Bring me there, Harpoon. Go along. You look nice, sweetheart. Move it. Get back to yourselves. Hey, that's so long. Up. Be seeing a couple of weeks. <laughs> Keep him <them> rolling. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah. I was thinking that uh, I'll quit fooling around. Are you sure we're not off our rocker? Hey, wait a minute. Go on. What are you worrying about? What do you mean? <laughs> what? No. What I mean is that. Uh, don't you think the colonel's operating like he's got us all tied by a string? Look, I know what you mean. And in normal circumstances, I never trust anyone, whether I know the guy or whether I don't. But by and large, I say we can trust him. My nose never fails. The colonel's promised us a lot of guilt, yeah. But I think the frog's bullshitting us. I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. Ever since we started counting on a guy, everything he said has come through, eh? And he's been punctual to the minute. He said he'd get all that gear, and he got it. That contact he found outside never failed, so why are you breaking the balls? I just want to know more. For instance, what the hell has a colonel got inside his loony head? I don't care what he's got inside his head. That's none of my business or yours. <laughs> Take a look at this. You ought to find it interesting. It's a war relic. Yeah. That's his photograph, all right. What's it say? It says, Colonel Remy, he was in the military in Tanzania. And I'm supposed to read this Polish thing here? It's all the uh, political nonsense, big time stuff. Ten years ago, I was in Japan and Hong Kong. Not bad, huh? I could have sworn it was more behind him than just flowers and plants. No kidding. You know what I call my daughter? Nisa, like the star. She's on the wall there. When I went to the priest to have her baptized, he told us her name wasn't Christian enough because it wasn't the name of a saint or an archangel. Very nice. Now go to your Elvira. Uh, if only she was the real Elvira. Uh, a whole day's earnings for a hunk of rubber. The real Elvira wouldn't cost me anything. At least this one don't give you no back talk, though. Last time I was with the real one, I got kicked to hell. She was always afraid I'd get it knocked up. I like to have a lot of kids. I'd name them all after stars. Yogi, mm -hmm. when you get out in a month, you gotta send me that book about stars. You promised. All right. Just keep quiet now. Let's go, Elvira. Whisper something in my ear. Fellow prisoners, this is the voice of your conscience. Blow it out your ass! Friends, fellow criminals, are we all good and horny? Yes!
I tell you guys, that freak is liable to stay there for days. Have a look. It's unbelievable. Pretty freaky. He's batty, huh? Not altogether. <laughs> Bye, fella. Remember that Indian dude, uh, Hatler Gandhi? Yeah. Well, he's uh, he's Mahatma's personal friend. Really? I'll bet you, I'll bet you anything that if you could come here to see Yogi tomorrow, he'll still be upside down. Yeah. <laughs> All right, come on. Faster, move it. Shake a leg. You know the Orient well, don't you? Oh, yes. Buddha is very fascinating. And so machine guns. Hmm? Well, they're useful against certain people. <laughs> it's not my fault if your record reads like a whodunit. You know, Doctor, I think you read too many adventure stories. They're very bad. I'm partial to the classics. And books about pirates. <laughs> Mercenaries, if you like. Uh, nebulas are ready. What's that? I have to spray the air. May I have a word with you? The plants are thirsty. They need a little attention. Ask the director to give you permission, and maybe you can talk to me. Hmm? As soon as you're authorized, let me know. Hmm. And we'll meet in the infirmary when I get the mums. Listen, Remy. You listen. Prisoner 28898 says, ma'am. I thought that you would... No, Conan. That guy doesn't bark, he picks his nose. Yeah, the very two people on the left took as powerful as his. Yeah, a lot of good it did him. Why? He got knocked down in the sixth round. Morning, Doc. Did you happen to have the time? Uh, quarter past eight. Thanks, Doc. I only had it two days, and so now I can't find it. I'm stuck. Well, where the hell did you leave the cycle? Inside the hall. <laughs> you mean to say that the thieves stole it right from under your nose and you're a guard? Yeah. <laughs> Here, have a cigarette. Thanks. I guess it's because I was stupid enough to leave the windows open. See, you caught a cold, too. And anybody who sleeps with his window open in that part of town is asking for it. You're <laughs> lucky they didn't steal your shoelaces. I don't know who's got it worse here, them or us. <laughs> it, guys. What's it? A great prison novel, chapter one. The cesspool of freedom. Not now. Write your memoirs later. Okay. Uh, oh, man. Uh, is that what they taught you at finishing school? How to bark at chickens? You eat better than I do. What the hell's the matter with you? You went away. The coast is clear. Huh. So let's go. Yeah. Your striptease? Yeah. Let's go then. No. Oh. Go. Oh. 
shine a light, will you? There's something snivelling on my toes. Could be a turd. Oh, terrific. Oh, oh. What are you waiting for? The elevator? Hurry. This isn't very hygienic. What, did you expect a Riviera? I stink. It's the first time I try holding my breath underwater. Make sure it's not your last. I'm counting on you. <sighs> Ten seconds to decide. The water or the warden? Time's up! <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, the water's nice. Jesus. This is like swimming in a toilet. Put the lid down. Can't we flush it? <laughs> oh, take a deep breath. He's got to be kidding In India, you're not a man until you've stayed in a sealed casket an entire day. And that's with knives and arrows in your back. What you did is peanuts, man. You just go on plugging, Yogi. Pardush is only a discipline of the mind. Yeah, I bet you're the first guru to evade prison underwater, Yogi. <laughs> that's enough nonsense. We all have a lot of work to do. Get a load of all this gear. What'd you do, hijack Jack Costo? Huh? Jacques Cousteau, you gotta uh, know him. He's the captain of Nemo, France. Miguel, please. We got everything? Well, everything except good cigars, but modern technology hasn't been able to waterproof them. <laughs> uh, technology should prevent you kind of people from breaking my ass. Uh. <laughs> Here, catch. Why'd you get put in jail? <laughs> because I raped the judge's grandma. <laughs> yeah, you raped his grandfather. <laughs> and you couldn't rape a fly. <laughs> Let's not waste time. Underwater, Chiro will be the leader. Follow him. Your good old-fashioned mafia men with dark glasses and sapphire pinky rings were a thing of the past, Doctor. Today, the organization gets its rank and file from the universities. Yeah, and I bet you have to have top grades to meet mafia standards nowadays. Oh, for sure. What do you have in there? Brawn without brains. The top men, the big racketeers and procurers, the heroin dealers, are all free. Almost all of them are out. Mm. How about Remy? The colonel. You seem to have forgotten him. Oh, no, no. The colonel isn't forgotten. He just doesn't fit in with the others. Huh? How well do you know, Remy? Huh. I've been reading his dossier. Better than reading a thriller, right? And believe it or not, we've only got uh, half the story on him. The Sûreté Générale in Paris and Scotland Yard in London. Well, they got the real lowdown on Remy. He's already had four extradition trials. In the Congo or in Sudan, he wouldn't last a minute. He'd get the firing squad. Or perhaps it'd give Colonel Ramey oh, you, sir, the rank Sergeant. of general in the army. There's huh? a government official on the telephone. They just had a mutiny at the jail in Viterbo. What's it got to do with me? How do I know? 
Ah, for crying out loud. Couldn't you have said I you wasn't said in? You said to take all calls. Oh, shut up. that inspector I'd be the last person to disobey your orders but a couple of days warning wouldn't have hurt any certainly inspector I'm sure of course sir I'll do everything in my power I know I know you don't think I'm one of those wardens who goes light on rules and regulations and that's quite all right I'll manage somehow inspector yes thanks good morning now what ah. Some old horse's ass in an office full of idiots in some corner of the ministry while pinching, feeling, and stroking his secretary's ass comes up with an original idea. Get the message? Yes, sir. It's all clear to me, sir. No, sir, it isn't. You haven't understood a thing. Those fools are going to send us 20 new inmates to this little island prison. They're mad. The riding kind, no less. Where are we going to stick them? In the vacant wing, sir. This way they'll be well isolated. Yeah, all right. Stick them anywhere. Ah, I'm not going to say this again. You've been instructed to keep those lousy fishermen off our coastline. But you know They're that. are fishing with bombs and in cahoots with your men. I want you to put an end to this business. Now, you've all had warnings about this matter. Is that clear? Take care to load up well. And let this be clear. No one is to approach the prisoners alone. What's going on, Chief? We got company arriving. Why? You got any complaints? No, sir. Have you doled out enough rounds of ammunition? Every man's got 20 rounds. I double-checked. Good. You two keep guard inside. Close yourselves in. You'll take four-hour turns each. Trouble ahead, Chief? Maybe yes, maybe no. We can't be too sure. Remember that all of you are up against 20 of the most dangerous rioters the mainland has ever sent us. Hit hard, men. Let's go. some new house guests. Here, pull us in. Come on, somebody, give me a hand. Hurry up, these guys are giving me the creeps. Pull us in, will you? Careful, watch your step, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen. Attention! Okay, Lieutenant Marshallo. This is the official transfer. They're all here. Let's go, a little energy. Anyone with rabies or whooping cough, Lieutenant? No, they're all perfectly healthy, Sergeant. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. 
Good luck. All right, let's get a move on here. Who the hell you think you're talking to, your sister's canary? Nice. Say your prayers, Cotton, because your time's running out. I ain't taking orders from no Nazis. I'll teach you how to say Heil. All right, come on. Come on. And don't waste your breath. It's all uphill. and it's completely watertight. It's the bag you asked for. What's the matter? Don't you like it? No, no, this bag's fine. What's it cost? Mm, six bills. It's a deal. Here. Thanks. Take it easy. Good morning. Vangeli's in for a big surprise. As soon as he picks up the merchandise, we'll bag him and then... Hold it a second. Yeah? Oh. Very well, Santucci. I hope you know that we're counting on you. See if you can find out when he flies to Vangeli. Oh, and one more thing. It's your ass if you lose sight of him. Yeah, okay, sure. Just keep following him, huh? Now, Brad, this is under control. And we've got Vangeli as good as bagged, I assure you. I'm running late. I've got some business to take care of in Naples. And then tomorrow morning, I fly to Dakar. Thanks. When do we move? This evening. It's always better to dock at night in Naples. Mm. Hello, we'll check the cargo, and then I'll pay you. Mm. <laughs> and if you hang around, I'll let you try to bitch tonight. What do you say, Excuse me, sir. What? Where? Uh, who are my you? My friend got bad stomach cramps. You wouldn't have a hot water bottle, would you? What you the hell is stomach? this? What do you want? Hey, look at this. Thanks a lot. Gibraltar and leave the same night. Otherwise, we'll never reach Casablanca. Yeah, but let's hope we can load up too. They've got some great duty free shops in Gibraltar. Bonjour, monsieur. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Oh, shit. Don't. Stay where you are. You can't. It's all right. It's all right. I'm okay. I'm okay. 
Check down below. Gotcha. Nice work, Yogi. Here. <laughs> Did you read your horoscope this morning? It says you'll get a nice little surprise visit from an old friend. Yogi? Sir? Yeah, be a good boy, fat face. Hey, Colonel, everything's been put in place. I'm sorry. I don't have a lot of cash on board at the moment, but it's a draw there. Take it. What you hide in that drawer would not pay for all the friends who were killed waiting for your ammunition, Vangeli. Your conscience is clean. The dead can't remember, but I didn't forget it. Uh, but who are you? Oh, we have company. Hey, look where I found. This way, honey, the party's inside. I'm an old friend of the captain. This won't take long. Hmm. Hey, Kelly. Yeah. All right, let's get the loot. Take a look down below and take the girls along. Yeah. Yogi. Would your highnesses care to join me? Love to. Pray do. In exactly 60 minutes, you will deliver $8 million. $8 million? You're insane. What was that I heard? It, it, it was $8 million. Hmm? $8 million? You really expect me to pay you? I don't have that kind oh, of... Oh, you're going to pay me, Vangeli. Or is your real name Rosen? Remy. Remy's buried. Because if you are alive, you'll be dead now. I'm just a ghost who'd like to steal your money. So, you rotten, lousy son of a bitch, you've got an hour. And none of your silly business. Don't make me nervous, please. Do you mind if I ask you something, sir? If it's a complaint, forget it. What I have, what I have to do with your vendetta? Uh, I will leave you two alone. No, senor. But I have nothing to do Keep with... Keep quiet, you idiot, and just pray vangeli has got enough money. Kane import export. The plans have been changed. Vincenzo wants the money brought on board. What should I do? Prepare the bills as you were told. Okay. You have to be here within an hour. I want you to put everything in a waterproof bag. In an hour? That's not going to be possible. It's not the money. That's already been prepared. But where do I get a waterproof bag? Why does it have to be waterproof? Just follow my instructions. Get over here as quick as you can in the helicopter. I want that money here in an hour. I'll be there, okay. Keep your cool. <coughs> Get away. This is for you, Miguel. Use it. Merci beaucoup. Boy, make yourself comfortable. <laughs> you too, Goomba. You are going to be good girls, are you not? If you behave, everything will be all right, eh? And you will have something to gossip about. Here, I'll catch. Yeah. Look, he's having a good time. <laughs> Why not? What would you do if the warden asked you to go fishing for him? Have a bad time? Surprised if these lousy riders expected us to do the laundry. Who's in this one? Stiletto. Uh.
I know. Get back to work, you animal. Let's go. Take a look. Yeah, we know a lot. Had a boy, Yogi. Keep it hanging. Is that you, Commissioner? Yeah. Yeah, he did. Lombardi's helicopter away to see Vangeli. Oh, huh, what? Yeah. No, no, he's not alone. I think he's carrying the dough. All right, we'll be there, Santucci. We'll all meet at the port. <coughs> Salvatore? Two choppers ready to leave immediately. Yeah, that's right. We're visiting Vangeli. Okay. Spend another four years rotting in there? Bow, why not? If one thinks of it as a four years vacation, it's not so bad. Eh, there's no two ways about it. Half a bottle of booze and two semi-naked women who life must be smiling on me. If only they'd have been a heaven like it's this. It's hot in here, isn't it? It's hot, all right. That's why the church is running out of business, I'm convinced. They've been marketing the wrong kind of heaven. It's passe, outdated. Now, take the Arabs. They got the right kind of heaven. They promise you broads and dates. <laughs> when I was stationed in Benghazi... What are you going to do with us? I got plenty of ideas. You're a very nice girl, pussycat. You and me could really hit it off. But not during work. Let's hope we make it another day. <laughs> anyway, when I was stationed in Benghazi... Pardon? Everything's under control. Wait up on the bridge. They'll be here any minute. I almost forgot. Santa Claus is coming. I better get up there. Go on, hurry. What did you want with that gun? To shoot it, Colonel. But not at you. Or your friend. At that pig, Vangeli. I'll do everything you desire, just as long as you kill him. Do it, please. I'm begging you. Don't say no. <laughs> I'll do anything. Murder him. <laughs> Nothing will make me happier. But you're forgetting that Vangeli and I are very old friends. And besides, it's not polite. They're here. Coming. Don't move anywhere. Hmm. I'll think about it. <laughs>
say goodbye. Get out of here. Let's look inside. Look at you, big boy. I said get out. Get it out of your system. That's enough. Stop bashing the bastard for crying out loud. Bring him down below. Let's go. I'll teach you to be greedy. Move it. Eight million. Mm-hmm. And it's for real. Of course, what did you think? <laughs> We're rich, Colonel, rich. All right, get everything ready. We have to leave. <laughs> I'm going to visit our benefactor. Sure thing, Colonel. Be ready in a minute. <laughs> What's up? Call the ladies. We are going to have a little going away party. Hmm? We are? Hey, ladies, your presence is requested in the lounge. The guests will shortly be departing. My sincerest thanks for your hospitality. <laughs> this way. <laughs> My pleasure. Uh, to come in, make yourselves uh, comfortable. You weren't very lucky. It's too bad, eh? After all, you always manage to provide your armament. Ah, like to Jacques in Singapore. Abdullah in Cairo. Or Miguel in Buenos Aires. And to Remy? Uh, uh, where was Remy? <laughs> you don't remember? Oh, at Brazzaville. <laughs> all the men depending on you were caught and murdered, and you managed to get richer, eh? <laughs> Turn around, Rosa. I paid you eight million dollars. What more do I have to do? You've got your face, eh? Turn around, I said. Hey, Colonel, everything. Are we ready to go? Yeah, we're ready. I dodge the palm of my hand, Rosen. Your grave is drawing near. Remy, I swear you'll hear from me even if I have to search through hell. All right, turn around. I would be honored. Au revoir, monsieur. Yes, sir, I did. I already advised the National Guard. This jail's turning into a madhouse. There are over 20. I refuse reinforcements. Our men are managing quite well by themselves. All we're asking is that you authorize a state of emergency, after which I'll fight it out with the ministry. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good day. Damn it, even the office is falling apart. Karate. That's your order, sir. Let them shout their guts out for a while. What do they think we're running here? A Montessori school, the idiots. As a precaution, we better lock in our regular prisoners immediately. Fly. On the double, sir. Very good. Hey, uh, who's he watching? Uh, uh, hey, Chief, where are you going? What's it to you? I was just asking. What do you want, dummy? How about that? All right. You don't even care. Huh? I thought you was interested, Chief. What are you saying? What do you mean? What am I saying? Uh, French point. I'm, I'm I interested. When are you showing it? Last night. Uh, yeah. 600 feet of the finest... Yeah, I'm interested. Uh, right. finest yeah, twat in Paris. 
Just moving pictures, Chief. Beaver shots galore. It's oh, better than real life. Pictures. All right, so when are we going to see it? No dice. Basilio's going to see it first, I promise. Oh, come on, I'm a superior officer. The fun's over. File into your cells and do it quick, Mike. Sorry, fellas, these are orders. Quick, get a move on. One last look. Do you like joining me for a drink? What the hell's going on here? Hey, well, I'll be seeing you back in the jug. You're not a road, don't you? <laughs> Good work, You're rich, kid. <laughs> Take it easy. Don't get caught, Tootsies. Let's move fast. We'll be late for lunch. <laughs> well? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's get out of here. We're almost done. Okay, hold a second. I'm gonna take a leak. Chiro. The warden ordered a roundup. Gee, something must have happened. Let's go. Chiro! Hey, what the hell you been doing so long? Making love to an oyster? Hurry up, get out of the water. What the hell are you yelling at? You're killing us, you fascist! Kid, <laughs> get down here and fight! The money will be saved there. Lambrati should have no trouble finding it. Here you go, Yogi. But make it snappy, huh? Save your meditations for later. <laughs> You're happy? Yeah. Man, what a high school. You're a genius. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, Yogi. What? Hey, Yogi. Hey, seeing you don't eat, you don't smoke, and you don't do much of anything else, uh, what are you going to do with all your money? I'll go to India. Well, I'll go with you. I've got a lot of friends here. I'm surprised at you, Colonel. A little dingy. <laughs> We're just playing. Oh. All right, forward. Hey, what the fuck? Weren't you in your cell a minute ago? No, I'm here. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's everywhere, Chief. Just like the Holy Ghost. Boy, <laughs> oh, you yeah. can't keep Sorry, let's go. Him. Forward, march! All right, all right. That's enough. Come on, Lambratis, be reasonable. What was in that sack? Talk, and I'll see what I can do for you. I already told you everything I know. I was only ordered to deliver a waterproof sack, after which you have no idea. I'm afraid you'll have to ask Van Jelly. I couldn't possibly know anything. Yeah, your ass. Don't give me any more of your shit. I don't know. You don't know what was in the bag, huh? No. The sack was closed and sealed tight. That bag has Van Jelly's, and nobody else's. And one is not supposed to look inside the boss's bag. I was ordered to drop it off on a yacht, and that's what I did. Then I came back to shore, and you guys picked me up. How am I supposed to know what took place on the boat later on? Why don't you go and ask Van Jelly or the others? Because Vangeli stories a lot of bull. It's impossible. He thinks we're so naive as to believe that he was hijacked in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, and who pulled the thing off? The prisoners up at the penal colony? <laughs> Jeez, to go on a three-hour swim just to get even with your old lady, you got to beat toys in the attic. It wasn't easy to cover up for you. Thank God the shit hit the fed when they brought in those p p political goons. Ah, oh, what do you hear about the yacht out there? Midas and his chippies had a little oh, oh, orgy, but it backfired. Oh. The hey, Coast Guard 
come out and, and busted up everything. Hey, I'm talking to you guys. Mm. Oh, well, another day, another dollar. Who's got the dollar? You have a pretty good cover, Harpoon. And when I get out of here, I'll send you the merchandise for your store. All right? Bedtime, kiddies. Nighty-night. So long, Harpoon. I'll see you tomorrow. How about something to read there, like, uh, like this? Well, this stuff's first class. Pornography. <laughs> Let me see it. Yeah, it'll keep you limber. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy. And, uh, don't sprain your wrist, huh? Pay you tomorrow. Sure. Good night. He's gonna pay me tomorrow. Nobody pays. Tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> Seen Louis? No, I ain't seen him. I'm here. What the hell are you want? You son of a bitch. I've been looking for you all day. Yeah. Moon again. And a lot this time. Well, I didn't. I didn't give a shit anyway. See you around. <laughs> hey, Colonel, where you going? Colonel. I don't know nothing. Huh? Tortorella. Be good, eh? But... <laughs> wow, wow. 